I'm talking today to Neil Druitt, who is the Regional Director of Wonderman Africa. And we're here in Kenya at the moment. Neil, what's the state of social media in Kenya? Uh, very healthy. Um, there's probably in excess of about 2 million people on Facebook and uh, according to some of the sources maybe as many as 3 million people who have actually interacted on Twitter but obviously with a smaller number who, uh, who use social media more regularly. And Kenyans are fairly heavy users of both of those media? Social media has caught on, has caught on very uh, aggressively uh, in Kenya and it's been driven by a number of things but not always commercial elements. For instance the elections saw a, a, a uh, a, a vast use of, uh, of, of, of Twitter messaging and the use of Facebook pages for all the major candidates uh, and then since then uh, news topics have, um, you know, like the problems at the airport and maybe the Westgate attack but also other social issues um, have been aired frequently um, on Twitter and Facebook. And Facebook in some ways has become a substitute for the internet because people tend to use their Facebook page almost more than the internet. I think for, I think for people who own mobile phones phones and for whom uh, the phone is the first contact with the online world, Facebook has become almost their version of the internet uh, and especially since uh, Facebook now has messaging and when people have friends they talk to them on Facebook rather than send email. And this is down to quite quite um, low social levels, isn't it? Yes, depending upon the adoption of, avi uh, of, of, of devices. And in recent years we've seen uh, smartphones come below uh, 100 uh, dollars in, in this market and there are now phones that are as cheap as even even sixty or seventy dollars that are coming into the market so I think once people are able to access um, the internet cheaply on their phone through through those devices uh, actually the constituency on uh, social media will only increase more and which advertising brands are using social media um, I think most of the major advertisers do have a presence online through social media. Probably the most active uh, brands are those that require some form of so uh, customer service or regular interaction with their customers. Because I think many, many uh, Kenyan brands have struggled with customer service and have not found it easy to fund or, or use call centres. So in, in, in many instances the use of social media has become a substitute for other forms of customer service, either at a retail level or through, or through call centres. And who's been particularly successful using it? I think financial services uh, are, are becoming increasingly prominent um, on social media. Uh, companies um, like the mobile t t telephone operators. You, uh, you were talking about Safaricom. And yeah, Safaricom being the probably the biggest local brand in Kenya and the biggest advertiser uh, makes a great deal of use um, of social media both for customer service, for product messages and also for links with its other activities for instance sponsorship of sports events um, like rugby, like uh, marathons uh, and other activities. And are there business leaders who are effective at using social media? Yeah, I mean the the, the boss of Safaricom, Bob Collymore, is very prominent um, on, on, on Twitter in particular. And there are other business leaders like Ali Satchukan, who is a, a, an investment banker and spokesperson who's regularly interviewed on the BBC. He's, he spends a lot of time on Twitter talking about various business topics and also relaying news from the Nairobi Stock Exchange. And the government has also got into using social media. Just about every politician and senior civil servant seems to have a presence um, on, on, on social media um, and in some instances that is a, a, a fairly aggressive pre presence especially for certain ministries um, and for certain causes um, and also when there is a, a, a problem like a disaster or something um, then the frequency of messaging becomes even more so. So for instance during the recent Westgate Moll attack uh, the place to actually find the news about what was going on and about what to do was all on Twitter. Yes, and that was coming in large part from the government at some level. Well, actually, it was coming from the government. It was coming from many other organisations and also individuals who were setting themselves up as spokespeople and sources of information and support. Um, I mean, one interesting aspect of the Westgate Mall attack uh, was asking people, for instance, to donate blood at local hospitals. And that was actually very successful. Um, also off offering transport to people so it became it became a community-based resource uh, that was superseding other resources like television and newspapers